today we are installing the smart shunt uh, so that we can monitor the battery usage of the house battery and the chassis battery. Um, sometimes we don't know how much battery we have left um, for the day when we start using you know, the lights, um, the fridge, watch TV. So my husband likes to, to see numbers. <laughs> so he's always wondering, oh, how much battery do we have left? So this will let us know um, how much battery we have left. So first we're going to have to take off this chair because the inverter is down. It's in here. So we have to remove um, these screws. There are four screws right here. So where's my power tool, honey? My husband upgraded to some Powerful tool. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Cordless power tool. Cordless power tool. So we're using an E12 torque socket to open up the screws here. It's much easier. I don't need all that manpower. <laughs> or woman power. Or woman power. Wait, you have to fit it in first. Okay. Oh, a lot faster too. <laughs> Easy peasy. <sighs> One down. Ah, so that was it, huh? Yeah, so easy. Two more. In order to take out the two screws on this side, we have to swing the chair out of the way like this to get access to the screw. Since there's wires connecting the chair to the base, um, we didn't want to take out all the wires, so we're just gonna lean the chair down here. Just pull and lean it right here. That way, we don't have to disconnect all the wires. It's just a hassle to reconnect it later on. First, we have to turn off the uh, the house battery, the main disconnect switch right here. Off. Wait, no. <laughs> Hold on to it. Wait, it's still not off. <laughs> How do you turn it off? There. <laughs> still really Take off the screw down there. We have to use three, four inch. What is this? <laughs> Socket. Socket. <laughs> Let's take this. Power cord out first. Okay, it's out. It's out. Dirty. <laughs> okay, let's take these out. <laughs> Are you scared? Yeah. Don't want to get electrocuted. Everything's off. I know. <laughs> I am going in. Under, I mean. <laughs> what are you looking for, honey? Okay, so that orange foam right there leads up to the passenger seat where we install the shunt and we're going to run the wire pow to power it down to the lithium battery, which is right here. I have to take off the cover here, and it is a 10 millimeter bolt. And the cover is out. We're going to tap power to here. We are going to run the red wire from underneath the van into this hole here. There's actually some space right there. <laughs> okay, got it. I'm going to open up the positive side now with 
a half inch socket. Connect this into here. Before putting the lid back on, I wanted to show you that I basically hit the red wires underneath this red uh, protective sleeve here so that it uh, is more protected and then zip tied everything together and we're done. Let's put the lid back on. So my husband already connected power to the lithium battery down there already. So we have this end and we just put some tape over here so it doesn't get touched to any of these metal. Uh, parts and we also had to remove uh, this um, what do you call this what am I call it outlet <laughs> the outlet because it was it was in the way of the shunt here so we had to take this out so this is the finished version here we have the negative um, the black wire from the inverter connected straight to the system minus of the shunt right here and then the um, nine inch extension cable that we purchased we connected to, to ground I believe we can get away with seven inch uh, nine inch is a little bit long and then as to the battery minus the other side of the shunt we connected it straight to the black wire going down to the battery okay so let's power it up to see if it works <laughs> okay let's push it in here Okay, so the power is in here. Hey, I can see the blue light. <laughs> so it's working. <laughs> we wanted to test it, make sure it works before we put everything back together now. We're going to pair it with our phone. So this wire is for the chassis battery. So we have to run it in here. We actually could hide it underneath this um, mat here and actually there's an opening <laughs> like should I go here <laughs> there okay so let's connect this end next to this one over here in the sun. Okay, let's put this back. Right here. So instead of using screws, we decided to use double sided tape to attach the shunt to the floor. Um, and it's I, so tight. Yeah, and then I push this wire against here like this. Somehow just make it fit. Right? Yep, pretty much. <laughs> okay, we're done here. Let's plug this back in and let's put the seat back on before installing the chassis. So to connect this part to the um, chassis battery, I have to remove this whole bottom part here. Okay, let's take this piece out. Okay, so I have to run this red wire under here because the battery is over here. Yep. So now we got to take this side off. T25 torque screws so that we can take this out. Batteries under there. Okay, so we're taking the battery cover out. There are four screws. Can I use power tool? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let's take this out. Okay, let's open this panel up so that you could get to the battery. Disconnect. Disconnect. Yes. I'll Not do it that for easy. You. Okay, I'll do it for you. Don't want to break my nails. Huh? <laughs> I'm going to disconnect the battery before installing. Click on this red little button right there and pull out.
That's it. Let's take this cover out. Okay, so we're gonna unscrew this screw right here. So this is size 13. enough yep you're done <gasps> let's put the cover back Kenny before we put everything um, back on the floor here can you check on your app <laughs> to see if uh, the chassis battery works you mean the app the app to check the chassis battery. Okay, hold on. <laughs> yes, it works. Everything works. <laughs> okay. All right, let's just close everything down here. Okay. <laughs> 